What's going on, folks? Here we are in Budapest District 2, the Failhavies neighborhood. And this right here is the start of a cave system that goes beneath the ground. A cave system filled with geothermal hot water. And it used to pump water into this contraption right here, which was an old Ottoman era gunpowder mill. I am the Budapest bathhouse bandit, and I am here to review a bathhouse. No manufacturing of gunpowder for me. No, 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 no. I want to bathe, I want to soak, I want to luxuriate. And what better place to do it than at the Lukács Spa, one of the loveliest in all of Budapest, for relaxation and medicinal cures. Oh, see ya, Machka. Hello, you're not both. A famous old complex. It has been actually a center for healing since the 12th century, but the spa was renovated and revitalized in the latter half of the 19th. Here we can see some of the plaques of the folks that came here to be healed because the water, it is medicinal. Kusunom, Jigo Gyurj. Congratulations, Gyurj. Oh, here we have, wow, Antoine de Hedid from Cairo, Egypt. People from all over the world have traveled here. Uh huh, okay. Oh, yes, look at them luxuriating in the outdoor pool. Ho oh, ho ho, a cornucopia. All right, we gotta find an open cabin. Red, no, red, no, red, no, green. That's the ticket. So here we can see the remnants of the old Turkish mill. They called it the Chasar Malon, the Emperor's Mill. And in addition to gunpowder, they used it to grind grain. But already, they had established a swimming pool, additionally. Because the Turks, you know the Turks, the Turks love to bathe. Now we observe some of the statistics of the mineral deposits that are located in this stream. We've got a lot of different things. We've got iron, we've got chloride, we've got bromide. We've got fluoride, sulfate, hydrogen carbonate, all sorts of healing minerals. Meet us at Ken Ben's George for do. Do uh -huh. Oh, oh, soupy. Yo. All right, let's hang this up here. Here we have our lovely Minerva with her shapely hips, watching over all the bathers in the intermediate pool. The intermediate pool is a fan favorite. A very pleasant temperature, not too hot, not too cold, just right. All right, I usually like to start off in the intermediate, just to get things loose. As I head into the medicinal mirth, my mind fades off into storyland. Every day on Patreon, I read a new myth, a new legend, a new folk tale. So come join me. And without fail, you'll learn something new. www.patreon.com slash with Willie. Support the program and join the fun. And now we'll head over to the scalding hot. The cupola dome hot tub. Much darker than usual today. This is where you really get the healing properties of the water as it's scalding hot against your skin. It is hard to overrate how satisfying this is. Absolutely delightful. 
You can see because the temperature is 40 degrees here, they only recommend five to eight minutes of bathing time. And now after a spell of relaxation on these wonderful chairs, we're gonna check out the lukewarm pool. Not my favorite, but we gotta do the cycle, folks. We've gotta do the cycle. This is the pool that you're allowed to spend the most time in, but I usually end up spending the least. It's like taking a tepid bath. I mean, I guess some people like it, but I'm not one of them. Who's camera? Steam room. Now, for those of you who prefer a drier heat, we have the Uleg camera. AKA the sauna. Sauna Vilag Zarva. It's closed, I guess until next year. That has like a ton of saunas, naked saunas, naturalist saunas, salt saunas, infra saunas, but as we said, Zarva. So we'll settle for this. Well, that marks the end of our indoor bathing experience. Now we have come outdoors to the swimming pools. Swimming pool one and swimming pool two. In the swimming pools, you need to wear a swimming cap. I don't really like swimming pools anyway. I prefer to bathe. And here is a who's who. The Lukács Hall of Fame, Apri Lajos, Juha Zsulo, Urkain Isvan, Otli Geza, Kodai Zoltan, Nemte Dom, Latinovic Zoltan, Kalai Ferenc, Nemte Dom, the only girl. Ah, uh, one day I dream of having my plaque up there. Or perhaps even here, on the Golden Wall. It is a five-star Ut Chilag qualified spa. Yes, yes, yes. And last but not least, the little bathing girl. Now let's take a look upstairs. Here we can see the fitness park. You know, Lukacs, it's really a comprehensive facility. You can spend the entire day Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Get a little workout, get the blood pumping, ah, breathe in the fresh air. Look at that hideous monstrosity. And here is the tippy top level. In the summertime when the weather is fine, there are, hey, hey, what's going on? Long time no see, how do you do? In the summertime when the weather is fine, there are lawn chairs as far as the eye can see, people bathing, getting a tan, but obviously, Tis not the season for that now. There we can see the bathers doing laps back and forth. Probably one of the most scenic swimming pools in all of Majorosag, especially when the trees are in full bloom. The summer and the spring at Lukac is really, truly a sight to behold. And there we can see the top of that old Ottoman era gunpowder factory. It was a complex that was connected back and forth this area is so rich in sulfur extremes. From time immemorial, it has been a home to bathing. We mentioned it earlier, but since the 12th century, the Knights of St. John, a medicinal, 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 medicinal order? The Knights of St. John, St. Janos. They used to have their facilities here and they would cure people with the thermal waters. Not all heroes wear caves. And here is, of course, the famous outdoor bathing zone. Let's go take a little dip. Now, it's always been a little bit of a point of contention <laughs> into the lazy river right away. Whether or not this water here is the same thermal medicinal water that you get indoors. I mean, this water, even if you just smell it, it's a little bit chlorinated. It doesn't have that certain de je ne sais quoi that the indoor facility has. But people love the outdoor bathing zone because, well, it's fucking awesome. Especially at night, this thing lights up like fireworks, neons everywhere. A lot of bells and whistles in this outdoor zone. You've got those jets over there, these relaxation chambers. Love that old exterior. You can see the faded, decaying Habsburg yellow. Yes, the outdoor bathing zone. It's a wonderful addition. They said there used to be a mud bath here, but no one really used it. And so they turned it into an adventure park. I would have loved to use the mud bath personally. Beggars can't be choosers and bathers need to enjoy. 
Uh, Meg Edge, uh, Giro's Kenya. Oh, sick. All right, well, here we got the bathhouse special. The Monio, the lazy pirate. Look at that lazy pirate. Lushta Karatos. And here, everyone's favorite, Giroš Kenyer, Paprika, Eshli Lahaj Mava. Yo, wait, Pagya. Yeah. Simply scintillating. <sighs> Yo, capsulat. Asisem. Egut. Kilens. Pont. Edge. All right, folks. Well, that about does us for today. I hope that you enjoyed that trip to the Lukacs Baths. This has been another Gyoj Fidui Betyar Bathhouse Bandit review. And we'll give Lukac, I don't know, I'm feeling generous. Kilens Pont Ketu. Ah, revitalizing. Revitalizing, refreshing, rejuvenating. The Lukac Spa. Look at the old faded exterior. Could probably use a little bit of a facelift, but to be honest, I love reveling beneath this decadent grandeur. Enjoy yourselves, folks, and always bathe responsibly. <laughs> Oh, my God, that's a good one.